Russ Bedner, owner operator of Bedner's Farm and Greenhouse. And today we're here to talk about hydrangeas, the different types of care for them and the different varieties. The different varieties are smooth leaf, big leaf, panicle, climbing, and oak leaf. I have three of the big leaf varieties here in front of me. This one is Lemon Daddy, this one is called Zorro, and this one is Bloomstruck. The Zorro variety is, is a really popular variety. It actually has dark stems to contrast the flower color and the leaf color. So here's two other examples of varieties of hydrangeas. This is the oak leaf, which you can tell it actually looks like an oak leaf of a tree. And down below me here is a smooth variety. And it is called Invincible, and that is the variety that gets the really big snowball about five to six inches round. So some of the general care aspects of the hydrangea is lighting requirements. Certain varieties actually take different types of sunlight. So the macrophylla varieties, which is the big leaf variety, actually require less sun. So eastern exposure is the best for it, which actually equates to morning sunlight. So anywhere from sunrise till noon, one o'clock is ideal. But once you get into the paniculata varieties or the oak leaf varieties, they will actually take more sunlight. So those will take a full day of sun if, if you can give it to them. Hydrangeas like a lot of water. So at least one, one inch per week, or it, even if it's hotter in the summertime, you can go twice that. So split it up to one inch, say Monday, and another inch on Thursday, just to give them proper moisture. And don't forget to mulch. A good two inch layer of mulch underneath the plants will help retain that moisture. Some people have issues with their getting their hydrangeas to bloom. So one thing to keep in mind is a lot of the hydrangeas bloom off of old wood. Some macrophylla varieties some of the oak leaf varieties actually bloom off of old wood. So a prime example of this is you can see this branch here is actually old growth. So this is last year's growth. This is this year's growth. See how it's more pliable and it's a lighter green? And here's a prime example. The bloom is at the top of this old growth right here. Some of the new varieties of uh, the macrophylla, which is the big leaf varieties, actually bloom off of old and new wood. A good way to protect these varieties though is to put a good four to six inches of mulch around the base of them over winter. Getting hydrangeas to bloom is another key aspect of having a hydrangea in your landscape. So if you have a variety that doesn't bloom, you could always use this super phosphate, incorporate it into the top of the soil, till it a little bit, sprinkle that around, and give it a good shot of water or do it right before it rains. Some varieties get damaged through winter. So if we have an early spring and it starts to flush and then we have a freeze, that's actually freezing these top buds. So that could be part of the problem of not getting flowers. So about this time around June would be a good time to add the phosphate to promote some blooms. So on the macrophylla varieties, you can actually change the flower color as well. So the more acidic the soil, the darker blue that you're gonna get. So you could actually use an acidifier and treat that the same way as the phosphate. Till the ground up a little bit on top, water it in. And then if you wanna go to the pink range, you could lime. Same, same amendments to the soil and water it in really well. And then if you wanna to try to get the purple colors, you have to get that happy medium to, to get the color preference that you like. The last topic we are going to cover is pruning. So different varieties require different types of pruning. The oak leaf varieties and the panicle varieties actually require very little pruning unless you want to reduce their size for the next growing season. In doing that, you want to trim to the next leaf set down if you have any winter dieback or if you want to reduce the size, I wouldn't go any more than a quarter of the actual plant size. On the macrophylla varieties, or the big leaf varieties, what I do is actually let the plant come back from winter and see where you're going to actually get all the new growth and then trim all the dead away 
necessary to make it look good. So that's going to wrap our hydrangea video up for today. We're actually having a hydrangea festival starting June 10th through the 30th. So please stop out and see all the different varieties that we carry. I hope to see you there.